Our extraordinary Earth series this morning, we are venturing out to ice flows on the Atlantic for a rare look at the place where harp seals give birth. So beautiful, but as TJ has so eloquently been telling us this morning, climate change, climate change is thinning out the ice, threatening the seals, and TJ is in Prince Island, Prince Edward Island, Canada. It's beautiful. You had an incredible view of their world above and below the ice, TJ? Yeah, Robin, and look, you, you know me not to be one that's ever at a loss for words, right? I can, I can talk with the best of them, and I still can't find the words to describe this experience. You have to take a helicopter, guys, out over the northwest Atlantic, and you land on a piece of ice. And that piece of ice is essentially home and needed for survival for these beautiful animal, animals. And I need to now have you just go with me into their world. See those seams? Yeah. That's uh, some place you don't want to step, so you can test the ice with these. I'm just going to step where you step in, Yeah. National Geographic explorer Jen Hayes says her heart is with the harp seals of Magdalene Island. She's been documenting their annual pupping season for a decade. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> this is crazy. I am laying on a block of ice in the Atlantic, staring into the eyes of a pup seal. What's going on behind us? Well, a mom going behind us. Each pup really has a different, literally a different personality. This one's a little shy, this one's a little curious, this one's a little scared. It's like sitting in the middle of a giant preschool. You have the shy ones, and you have the outgoing ones, and you have the really loud ones. This one's a loud one. What is this little guy crying about? <laughs> well, he's wondering where mom is, thinking, well, I might be hungry. There she is. There she is. <laughs> There's mom. Life on the ice is just half the story. Jin has the keys to the kingdom below. She drops a special audio device called a hydrophone into a hole through the ice, recording seal conversations. TJ, they're calling you. What is that I'm hearing, Jen? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Can you hear that? Yes, what is that? Those are conversations going on below the ice. That sounded like a bird. Yeah. That's really cool. I envision mothers down there talking. How's your pup? What's your pup doing? <laughs> oh, are you going to mate with Joe this year? No. Joe's lost a lot of his fur. I'm not mating with Joe. Joe was so last season. I can lift this up. And on the end of this are GoPros. And I can set it into these ice holes so I can document the comings and goings in the underwater world. And there's a camera down there, there's a microphone down there, but oftentimes you are down there yourself. What is it like down there? It's like swimming in an ice cathedral with ice over your head and an amazing formation, and it feels like the Sistine Chapel made out of ice. <laughs> <laughs> see these formations, it's beautiful. These seals are lucky, they don't know it, they're swimming through art. But you wanna know what I found out? Mm. The seals do get here, so like, what are you? Who are you? They'll come in close, they'll turn on their backs and they'll chatter at you. They'll be like, womp, 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 womp. So it's magic. And here I am with my survival guide who took me out there. This is Jen Hayes, National Geographic Explorer. Um, you know, tell me, what is it like? You've been doing this for over a decade, hanging out with these seals. But what's it like to take a newbie out there and introduce somebody like me? Okay, you ready? Oh, it's me. priceless. It's, it's priceless to take, to introduce you yeah. and your viewers yeah. to the Harp Seal Nursery and to others to let people connect connect to climate change through this cloud soft animal with obsidian ice. It's priceless. Okay. See, so you see, Stray, this is why you, you heard me wax poetic earlier about this, but this is where I get it. She's very passionate and she's been walking me through this for the past couple of weeks now. Oh, that, thank you both for walking us all through it and the whole country through this, TJ. But we understand you inquired, uh, encountered a bit of a dangerous situation on the ice yourself. 
Yeah, okay, we have to, uh, we're going to show you this. We have a clip of it, but out there on the ice, uh, Jim, what we're showing our viewers now is that moment. You were out there with me, and you were, you were trying to say, be careful where you're walking because you can go through that ice. Now, guys, I was absolutely fine, oh but Jen, you make the point that this was a very good illustration, actually, wow. of the problem because years past, you didn't have to worry about where you were stepping because there was better solid ice. Exactly. Shore to shore ice, historically shore to shore, thick ice, stable platform. And now we have a really fractured environment yeah. that wind and weather, they, they break up, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and it, it creates this unstable environment. And they were which, just dangerous for the pups. But you all even tell them you used to have vehicles out there on the ice you could drive across. Well, not our, not yeah. us, but historically yeah. the locals did. Yes, they used to be able to, to literally put a snowmobile down and go. They could walk great distances on the ice without fear. And now, certain years, we, we you actually actually are issued yeah. a pole and you feel your way through and on occasion you find a soft spot with a pole or with something else. And I found a soft spot again guys I was fine but a lot more people we understand are going through the ice these days a lot of tourists that do go out there but Jen uh, thank you so much uh, for what you do for taking us through this experience we do appreciate it uh, but guys she's the one that's been doing this a while is helping us bring this story to our viewers and hopefully gets in their minds and it sticks and like you say all the time the decisions we're making back home have an impact on another world have a giant impact giant impact. by all by all means guys thank that you all great. so much we'll we'll leave it there from here yeah, thank you for bringing glad that TJ oh that's, we're glad TJ is okay. Yeah. yeah, I know. But Jen, wow, uh, she is. Jen, can we have lunch? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll tell you. Wow. That was Incredible special. Incredible woman. Losers. What? Amazing. Just amazing. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.